Hello adventurers! I am here in Frederick, Maryland at Monocacy Battlefield. Uh, this is the site of the Confederates' last push north. Um, Lieutenant General Jubal Early, who was one of Lee's most experienced commanders, uh, tried to take Washington, um, and because the Potomac kind of had to go up and around via Frederick, um, they technically won this battle, but it delayed them enough and kind of tipped their hand that the Confederacy was unable to take Washington. Um, so this was their like last and final push before the, they lost the war and before the Union prevailed. Um, and it was a very pivotal battle because it kept them from turning the tide back in their favor and taking DC. So um, we're at the kind of north most northeastern part uh, of the battlefield. We'll go around to some sites and everything, and it's 102, so it's going to be miserable filming. Okay, so we're here at the Best Farm. Um, this farm was actually used by both sides multiple times throughout the war, um, but this is so Monocacy Junction, I think is what they were calling it. Sorry, Frederick Junction. Um, was a kind of a pivotal area. The Baltimore and Ohio Railroad crossed through there. And so uh, that could take you south to Washington or out west um, to West Virginia and Ohio and such. So it was kind of a pivotal place. Union soldiers were sent to defend it. Um, and this farmhouse was actually the closest farmhouse to that junction. So it actually got caught up in several skirmishes. Um, John Best and his family hunkered down here during the battles. They just had to hide inside. There was not much they could do. Um, John Best actually filed a grievance with the government to reclaim financial losses um, from a battle that happened here in 1862 during the Antietam campaign. Um, there's no record of him filing that in 1864 during the Monocacy campaign. Um, but yeah, so he they had a lot of property damage um, that happened here. Um, also their barn burnt down during the battle. Um, so many shots were flying through it and there was so much going on. So it ended up um, catching on fire during the battle. Um, see some cannons there in the background. So here you can get a better sense of uh, how close it is to the railroad. So you've got the railroad that runs right there. Um, and then the main house that we're looking at there so okay so we're now at the thomas farm uh which is the site of several different skirmishes but is the site of the final skirmish um this is just south of the river the union troops actually burned the covered bridge on the river because they did not want to give the confederacy any kind of advantage to get across um and they, it cut off their chance of escape should they need it, but it also kept the Confederacy from getting more uh, footing. But the, again, the family was still here. They and some friends, uh, nearby neighbors, hid in the cellar during the battle. Um, and you can see some battle damage on the front porch there, so. Just kind of interesting how, you know, during the Civil War, life was still going on. People were still trying to live their lives. And yet some people's houses were multiple, the sites of multiple skirmishes. So, sorry, friends, there are many more uh, stops at Monocacy and a lot more I could have said. It's unbearably hot. I couldn't stand it. So I got back in the car and the nice AC and had to peace out. So... I do apologize for the incompleteness of that video and that explanation. Whole lot more happened at the battle than I talked about, and there were a lot more sights to see. I just couldn't take the heat, so I'm a weenie.